my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica, and it's Trusting True Tarot. I want to thank you guys so much for all your love and support to the channel. All right, so we're going to get into this. Go ahead and hit that like button. I'm going to let you know what's coming towards you in the next 48 hours. So don't forget to hit that motherfucking like button, and let's get into this, baby. Cross watchers, third parties, what's up? My haters, what's up? Because you guys are really on it, baby. You guys are doing your job, and I'm so proud of you guys. You know, I'm very proud of you. You're definitely motivating me, propelling me. So I really appreciate you too. So let's get into this. What's coming towards my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign in the next 48 hours when it pertains to love and romance? What is coming towards my beautiful Pisces? Who's coming towards my beautiful Pisces? What do I need to let Pisces know when it comes to love and romance? The next 48 hours, what's coming towards beautiful Pisces? We have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to us others. What does Pisces need to know about this person? Who's coming towards Pisces in love in the next 48 hours? What does Pisces need to know about this person? You deserve love. You are lovable. Top of the deck, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. We have worth waiting for. Okay. Pisces, whoever is coming towards you is someone who, uh, I'm going to be honest, you guys, let me keep it 100 with you. Whoever this person is, I do not feel like this energy is like, feels almost like very kind of lustful. It's a lustful energy. This person may be lusting over you, Pisces. I don't know. I'm getting this energy that is lust. This person is lusting over you. Um, I don't see this as something that is like a, a very um, strong connection. I don't see this as something that is a very profound or very deep connection. I don't feel like this person is uh, coming towards you based off of emotions and based off of like, you know, the best intentions. This is a very lustful energy. Um This is also someone that feels like they feel undeserving of love. Uh, they may not feel lovable. I don't know why I'm getting. This person does not feel lovable, okay? This person feels unlovable, okay? That's what, I mean, that's the truth. This person feels like they don't deserve love or they feel unlovable, okay? And it's crazy to say this because People don't present themselves as if they do deep down inside. They are an unlovable person. They're not capable of being loved, right? No one really shows that on the outside. Everyone per portrays their, themselves to be emotionally available, to be someone who's very likable and lovable. But deep down inside, the truth of this person is that they don't really feel like they are lovable. They don't feel love. They don't think they deserve love. Um, that's the truth. They feel unlovable, all right? And they may hide behind, you know, uh, this lustful energy or flirtatious energy. I don't know. I'm getting that this person can be very, like, playful, lighthearted, flirty. Um, but you know what I'm saying? But it's so weird. It's like, but deep down inside, eesh. I don't feel like this person is capable of love. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, I feel like this is someone who doesn't love themselves. Like, this person doesn't love themselves. Um, they don't. They don't love themselves. Or they don't like a lot of things about themselves. This person may not like themselves, but they definitely don't love themselves. They, are, they don't fully love themselves. So, yeah, this is who's coming towards you. This person could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. A Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. Any other sign? I'm getting Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer, Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. I'm getting Libra. This person could be a Libra. Six sign energy. This person could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, or Taurus, or a Leo. I don't feel like this person is capable of giving you the love that you deserve, Pisces, okay? They're very flirtatious, though. They're very flirtatious. Um, they're very flirty. They're very, like, 
you know, they seem they're coming off very like lighthearted, very easygoing, very nice, you know. Tell me more. What do I need to let Pisces know? I feel like the only reason why they're um, chasing, they, I feel like this person is kind of like chasing after you or coming after you um, is because you guys may mirror each other in some way where you're not also like available or you're not open to love, you know? Um, I, I see you as someone who's not fully, your heart is not fully open. I, I just kind of see you as someone like, you know, I see Pisces standing in a room and there's a group of people, but you're there, but you're not really connecting with anyone. You're not really opening yourself up to anyone. So you're not interested. Okay. So I just heard that you're not really interested in this person like that anyway. I feel like you're just not, I don't know if there's something about this person, like it just, there's, there's, it's just not this spark. Um, Pisces like to feel, you know, like to romanticize love, really like to feel things very strongly and deeply. Um, and that really is what gets you going when it comes to love and connection. So I don't feel like you feel that strong spark, that strong attraction with this person. I'm going to be honest. I don't see that you feel the strong attraction. I do feel like this person feels a very strong attraction towards you. No mistakes. This person feels a very strong, strong attraction and liking and chemistry towards you. It is lust. It is lust. Someone is lusting over you. What else do I need to let Pisces uh, know in regards to this person? Um, I do not feel like this person is capable of loving you the way you deserve to be loved or to give you the love that you deserve because they don't know what they deserve in love and because they are not capable of loving themselves first or finding the beauty in themselves. Yeah, we have the tower here. Ouch. Scorpio energy. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? This person, I'm hearing, girl, you know you fine. Girl, you know you fine. Girl, you know you fine. Okay, so yeah, this person, um, whether it doesn't matter if this is a woman or a man. I know a lot of you, um, a lot of men come, it's, men, please hold it. Pisces men that come under my comments telling me this is for women. This is for men too. I'm a woman, so I'm reading it from a woman's perspective. Like you can change it if you like to. It's going to resonate regardless. But Yes. Yeah, so I do feel like man or woman, it doesn't matter. Like you want to sing the song, boy, you know, you fine, boy, you know, you fine, whatever makes you happy. Okay. But I'm not going to do all that. Okay. Take it or leave it. You know what I'm saying? Take what resonates, leave the rest. So yeah, if you are a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This person thinks you are absolutely gorgeous, handsome, fine, attractive. See what I'm saying? Hmm. I don't I really feel like you blow this person's mind. Like this person feels like it can't get no better than you or like they're blown away by you. Okay. This person is blown away by you. They're blown away by your beauty. They're blown away by your charisma. They're blown away by your charm. They're blown away by your, um, by your looks, by your appeal. So I don't know why I'm hearing that song. You got that love that I want. You got that but of love, baby. Who sang that song? <laughs> this person is blown away by you. Yeah, like I said, this person could be a Libra, a Taurus. I already told you that. We have Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer here. Yeah, big sign. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. This person wants to offer you love. They're definitely romantically attracted to you. The issue with this is that with the tower, though, it is built on faulty foundations. That's why this is lust. Okay. This is lust. This is built on faulty foundations. This person wants to offer you love built on faulty, built on this faulty foundation here. Okay. Of what love is, you know what I'm saying? Someone wants to offer you love based built on a faulty foundation on what 
love truly is. So they don't have a true, you know what I'm saying? Their, their definition of love may be skewed. It may not be, you know what I'm saying? They may, it may be, they may be broken. There may be some type of pieces missing or brokenness here. This person really doesn't know what love is. Um, again, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. Mm, brokenness. I feel this brokenness within this person. Okay. Especially with this flirt card here in tower, in the tower. I'm also getting this person. I'm sorry, whoever this person is that's coming towards you in the next 48 hours in love. This is someone that I hate to say it like this. But you are kind of a step up from what they're used to. So this is someone that would actually like give attention to a fly. You know what I'm saying? They would give attention to a Komodo dragon. I don't know what else to say. Like they would give attention to someone that wasn't of your caliber, that wasn't on your level. Like they would like, I hate to throw this person under the bus like this, but they literally would give attention to like anything or anyone. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Hmm. Damn. Okay. So, oh gosh, I really feel like this person is someone who may be looking for love in all the wrong places. Um, with this five of pentacles right under this empress here, this person doesn't feel good enough for you. They don't feel they are deserving uh, of you. They don't like, I'm hearing, I don't deserve you or you deserve better. Yeah. This is someone that thinks you deserve better. Like this person is already counting themselves out in a way. Um, that's what I'm saying. They're used to talking to someone that may not be on your level or of your caliber. So this person really does not think that they are worthy of you. That's the truth. They don't feel like they're worthy of you, especially with this five of pentacles. This person doesn't feel like they're worthy of you because they're used to talking to people that are not of your, that, that's not on your level or that's not of your caliber. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Who's coming towards Pisces in love? Two more cards. Yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, and a seven of wands. Uh, um... This person deep down inside, they don't feel like they have what it takes to go after someone like you. They don't, they don't deep down inside, they feel like they don't have what it takes to date someone like you or to court someone like you. I keep hearing this person thinks that, um, I keep hearing you deserve, like you deserve better or they don't deserve you. And deep down inside, I really feel like this person feels like they don't have what it takes. But they're trying to push, they're trying to push themselves on you. They're trying to force something. It's almost like they're trying to force a puzzle piece to fit where it doesn't fit. So they're going to like to prove something to themselves or prove something to you. Um, at the end of the day, I had to, I'm going to be honest, Pisces. I feel like because you're coming up as this empress, you know what it is that you deserve. And you may also feel like this person doesn't have what it takes when it comes to you and nothing's wrong with that. You know, the, the Empress is like the Empress, you know what I'm saying? Or the emperor, the king of all kings, the queen of all queens. You guys know what it is that you want. You know what it is you deserve. Um, and it's like not having room in your life for anything less than that, than what you deserve. And I kind of really feel like at this point, I see that you're kind of being nice. Like you're being nice. You're being very nice at this point because I kind of really feel like at the same time, you're trying to be understanding of this person's situation or position, whether it's finances, whether it's just their life in general, whether it has to do with, you know, um, their situations or it could be anything. It could be their looks. It could be their money. It could be their finances. It could be their situation. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, 
it could just be that you're not interested, but maybe you're still trying to like give this person the benefit of the doubt is what it looks like. Mm. I don't know, y'all. I'm sorry. I just kind of feel like whoever this person is, they have no business. I, and I'm not trying to be mean. But I just kind of feel like at this point in this person's life, I just don't feel like they have no business trying to communicate or talk to you or engage in something here with you at this point. Like they have no business doing that. And I kind of feel like you have no business lowering your standards in order to appease or entertain. It's okay to be nice. It's okay to be nice. It's okay to, you know what I'm saying, point someone in another direction. It's okay to say no, thank you. And I feel like you guys need to understand that too, that you need to stand on this shit. You need to stand on what it is that you deserve. It's okay to say, tell someone, no, thank you. I'm not interested or no, thank you. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. It's okay to stand on principles. It's okay to stand in your worth. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to stand on business. Like, and I kind of really feel like, with this five of pentacles, why do I feel like you may feel a little, you feel some type of way about that? Like you don't want to ostracize this person. You don't want to push this person away. You don't want to be mean. You don't want to make this person feels less than you, but damn, even this person feel it. So if this person knows that they don't deserve someone like you, and if they feel that, who are you to sit up here to make them to feel like they are deserving of you because you don't deserve that. So I hope this helps and assist you guys in some way.